I'm at uh, 40, 30% there. I don't know if you can see this, but it's vibrating quite a bit. I don't think that's normal. Vibrating quite a bit. I'm, I'm not. I don't know if it's the motor or the VFD. VFD is temporarily down there. I haven't mounted it yet, but you could hear it. I know part of that could be the belt. That's bouncing. I don't. I don't think that bouncing is uh, gonna be acceptable. It's too much vibration. I don't. I don't believe that that's accept acceptable for grinding knives. Now, if I speed it up, it tends to want to go away. But I don't believe that I can grind. I'm not. I'm a beginner, so I don't know if I can grind knives at that speed. That's a hundred percent. It does smooth out, but, it, but there's still some vibration. It could, it's not the wheels because I get the same thing when I take the belt off. I already took the the drive wheel off too and it did the same thing if um, anybody has any suggestions I'm kind of lost I'm thinking it's something in the motor I'm thinking the motor is not balanced right But I'm not sure. It could be the VFD. I've heard some, uh, I've read some things that the VFD could cause some kind of a electrical pulse. I'm not sure. And I'm going to try to post this somewhere to the blade form or one of the other knife makers and send it out and see if anybody has any suggestions on what my problem could be here. It's a little frustrating. I've had... It took me a good month, month and a half, two months to get this thing going, waiting on parts. And as soon as I got it going and wired it up the way the diagram shows, the way I, I spoke to uh, Don Reader, and he has a video on how to hook up the VFD and the motor. Um, and I don't have seem to have a problem there. Everything seems to be hooked up right. I got 12, 3 input. Um, for 115, I did a 115, put the 115 jumper, um, and, uh, I got it on one and a half horse, even though it's a two horse power motor, I got the J2 jumper on one and a half horse because, um, the tech support guy from KBAC, um, told me that that's the way I should run it, put it on a one and a half horse. And not on a two horse, even though I have a two horse power motor. He says otherwise I would overload it and could burn up the motor or even the the, um, the VFD. So um, I'm a little bit at a loss right now. My first reaction was just to send this motor in and see the problem if that's the problem. But since I heard that it might be a VFD problem, also um, I'm putting on post this and see if anybody's ran into this problem uh, because I don't want to send the motor in and then they turn around and said nothing nothing wrong with the motor and then i'm waiting another two months or so by the time i do the shipping and because shipping cost me about a hundred dollars for that motor um i so i want to go about the, the right way do the right thing 
um, the next step to, to do the right thing. So, yeah, if I can get any help, if anybody's got any answers for me, any suggestions, I truly appreciate it. Thank you. So just for more information, I'm going to I'm going to run it without the belt on and see what you so you can hear that and see that that's at 40%. I don't know if you could hear that. It almost sounds to me like it's coming from inside the motor. I can almost feel it like if it's right here. My, there's a fan, the cooling fan. I don't know if you can see that or not. I'm wondering if that's part of the imbalance. I, I don't know. Um, I, I think I want to eliminate the VFD. If I can eliminate the VFD and then I'll go... I, this is a three-phase motor, so I cannot hook it up to just anywhere in my garage. Because I don't have three-phase. Uh, otherwise, I just... I would hook up the motor to the garage without the VFD and then I can eliminate things that way but I you can see the bounds there's no drive belt but quite a bit of uh, bouncing Right there, I'm at 40, 30. I don't know. I mean, this is my first one. So even at 30, this is a uh, 3450 RPM motor. So even at 30%, it seems like it's running pretty slow. So I don't know if that's part of the problem or not. Um, I don't know how, how it's supposed to look or how fast it's supposed to be running at 30%. So I would at 30% for a 34 or 50 RPM motor. It seems kind of slow to me, but I, I don't know. I know the jumper set at, I didn't put it at two times since there's a 3400 RPM motor. I didn't want to do that, but that's what it is. All right, guys. Thank you in advance for any help I can get.